What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Good Old Boys YouTube channel. Today we have a little bit of an update on the C60 behind me here. You guys can see we have the entire front clip off of it. Uh, I was looking into it. For some reason it wasn't wanting to turn over as the story we got from the previous owner, Sam. Uh, basically we're looking at having to possibly replace a few clutch parts. They rotted the teeth clean off of the flywheel. So obviously the starter is not gonna work anymore. So I um, just wanted to give you guys a little update. It is raining out here, of course, and this is just some of the stuff we go through and, you know, some of the stuff we deal with to get these kinds of projects done. We are finally getting there. Sweet. All right, guys, so we got the engine and transmission out of this beast. So I wanna show you guys why we had to tear this thing apart. First, let's go take a look at the dump truck in the daylight. All right. So we've gone ahead and split the engine and transmission. And I don't even know if I can get it all in the shot, but this is our dump truck. That's a 38 inch tire. And yeah, this is what it looks like. If we take a look in here, we can see that, oh yeah, we're gonna need a throw out bearing. And this thing is just freaking huge. Just freaking massive. We got the clutch, uh, the pressure plate and the uh, clutch off of here. We got our flywheel. You can see uh, it's in pretty rough shape, but uh, nothing that can't be polished out. There's no deep pitting or anything like that. And you can see uh, it wasn't in too bad a shape before all this happened. So uh, believe it or not, this is our clutch. And it's kind of hard to believe that they ran these with just three little pads like this here's our pressure plate you can see it's pretty messed up um it needs replaced pretty badly just because of all the damage from all the rats um you can see some of the springs are even separating because of the rust that's forming between them but uh yeah that's pretty much the update so far all right guys we got the flywheel completely off of the crankshaft another little update you guys can see we have the top of the engine off of here so what's going on is i was turning this thing around and it hit a hard spot and this is what we have you guys can see the last uh, rocker here is off of the engine let's see this is going to be your exhaust valve for the last cylinder here if you look at this thing, you can see that this valve compared to the others is stuck down. So what we have is we have some uh, water intrusion and moisture that got down in here from this thing sitting around. So we have to remove the head, put a new valve in there. Hopefully everything else is okay. So that's it for now. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like. Um, there's definitely some mice living in these cylinders, but you still can't see the factory honing. Hopefully you guys can see that. There you go. I think you can see it. Long story short, I think we're gonna be okay. This is the worst of it. This is a cylinder that had the locked up valve, but uh, I think we could probably hone this. All right, guys, we got the other head off. Uh, I'm glad I took it off because I'm seeing some other stuff that's not too great. Let me see if there's any left. We had a bunch of uh, really bad surface rust in here. Feels a little bit grainy. I think it's still probably all right. I'm sure the truck will run with it like that. So we have another update here. We're looking in the bottom end of the engine now. I've taken off the oil pan. We have the lifters and both the heads off of the engine. Hopefully you guys can see that. 
So what we're looking at now is uh, we need to take the pistons out so I can hone the cylinders. Got no crankshaft, camshaft is still in there, so almost bare, but pretty much completely bare. All right, so I wanted to show you guys some of the honing on the cylinders. You can see how shiny the uh, the honing is. This was a troubled spot in the cylinder. You can see it polished up pretty well. Now, if we come to the other side, this is a side we haven't touched, and you can see how rough these ones kind of are. You can also see factory honing there. Ed, this is the valve that's sticking up. We've got a pile of parts over there. Here's a bunch of our internal parts. It's just crazy. We have our, our main bearing caps. We have all the pistons. They all look like they're in pretty darn good shape. You can see a little bit of scoring up and down, um, but uh, these pistons are pretty much brand new. We got our lifters. One thing I did want to mention here, some of the rings are stuck on these. You can see this ring here, the top ring is stuck. So, We'll probably be throwing some rings at this thing. Yep, like I said, bowls. Blood, sweat, and tears. We now have all eight pistons in with fresh rings. I'll show you guys this side. All eight are in there. See the underneath. They need torqued down. But that's not a big deal. This is what we ended up going with for rings molly um, so they're supposed to be pretty decent rings uh, a lot of people run these and these are for a 30 over bore which uh, you guys could see on the pistons they are marked 30 over intake port here you can see it's pretty crusty we've got quite a bit of stuff on top of the valve this is the passenger and this is the front uh, passenger head all right guys, so we have our Chevy 350 head. You can see it's oiled up. Uh, I've gone through both heads at this point. I believe I already showed you guys the other head, but uh, in particular, we had one uh, set of valves here that was pretty bad, uh, fairly stuck and rusty and all that kind of stuff. So they really needed cleaned up and really replaced. So you guys can see all these valves that have check marks. They've all been uh, lapped with valve grinding compound. Um, this last one here actually uh, is lapped. Um, so all these valves should be ready to go, should be sealed up, no more leaking coming out of them, uh, which most of them did leak before I did the valve grinding and lapping process on them. But uh, long story short, we just have two replacement valves. You guys can see how clean and fresh these are compared to some of the used valves that are in the head so just for my personal reference this is the front passenger um, head here quick little update the heads are officially on the motor we have all the bolts torqued down to spec of course we have new gaskets on there so next we're going to be putting the lifters in and the push rods we now have our lifters and push rods installed all the valves are adjusted Everything is torqued down. We also have the oil pan on here. We have the oil filter on here and uh, things are coming together. All right, so here's our engine. This thing looks just like an absolute beauty. Uh, basically, all we did for the engine and transmission was we put some rust stop on it, which basically converts rust into cured rust. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then we did a base coat and the final coats on these. So there's five coats of paint on that. We have 
uh, two or three coats of paint on that. And then for the dump truck itself, we have a little update. So we have the seat out. You guys can see all of the mouse crap in here. We got uh, some Murica laying in here. This carpet is nasty, so it's coming out. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We have a new clutch for the engine and transmission for now. We're done with that stuff. The engine pretty much has been completely rebuilt by yours truly. Everything from top to bottom has been gone through. Anyways, uh, the truck itself is kind of in the same condition. We've got a lot more work ahead of us. In the next video, you guys could see uh, we had a few issues with the floor. So yeah, we're gonna be rebuilding the entire floor in the dump truck in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Um, that's it for now. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out that description box below. That's where all the other dump truck videos will be linked uh, if you guys are interested in these videos. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Woo!